Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1498 that says number of subsequences that satisfy the given sum condition. So guys this is an interesting question and solving this will help you clear your concepts regarding arrays, two pointers, sliding window and yeah stuff like that mainly related to subsequences finding the subsequences in a given array. So there are multiple questions on lead code where you have to find a valid subsequence in a given array. So yeah if you solve this question if you understand the logic and the intuition behind this then the all other question will be easy for you to solve so yeah guys stick till the end watch the complete video and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel now here in this question you are given one array nums with a target integer and you need to find non-empty subsequences such that the sum of minimum element and maximum element of the subsequence should be less than equal to target right you need to find number of such sub 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 subsequences where the minimum and maximum element of the subsequence is less than equal to target and return the answer modulo this okay so here if you take a look at the first example you are given a array 363567 okay so here if you see that uh, what is one valid uh, subsequence it is 3 itself because the sum of minimum element plus maximum element is what it is 3 plus 3 minimum element is also 3 maximum element is also 3 so sum is 6 that is 6 and 6 is less than 9 so yeah this is valid so similarly in the explanation part here you are given 3 and 5 is a valid subsequence right you can see 3 plus 5 is less than equal to 9 see guys you can't take 5 because if a subsequence contain element 5 then the minimum element is 5 and the maximum element is also 5 and the sum of this minimum and maximum element is 10 so you cannot take 5 here okay got this you cannot take 5 cannot take single 6 as a subsequence you cannot take this it will uh, be greater than 9 okay so yeah but 3.3 comma 5 is a valid subsequence because this minimum element is 3 maximum element is 5 and the sum is less than equal to 9 similarly 3 5 6 because 6 plus 3 is nothing but 9 and 9 is less than equal to 9 so yeah the condition satisfied and 3 6 also also guys one thing to note here is this is a subsequence okay not a sub array so in a subsequence we can delete one of the elements so here since we we can delete uh, uh, between elements so yeah we deleted 5 and the remaining subsequence become 3 comma 6 see in a subsequence order matters but we can delete some of the intermediate elements right we can do this in a subsequence that's the definition of subsequence okay got it clear till here now looking at the example 2 we have 3 3 6 8 um, and the target is 10 so we have one valid is 3 this 3 we are talking then this 3 is also valid subsequence then combining both 3 and 3 is a valid subsequence then 3 and 6 with this 3 and 6 and then this 3 and 6 okay and then 3 3 and 6 so yeah, these are the valid subsequences for this nums array and total are 6 so yeah we written 6 as our answer the count of valid subsequence and similarly here uh, for this given example we get 61 valid subsequences so uh, deriving manually this 61 subsequences is difficult but I hope you guys have now understood the, what is the idea of subsequences, what are the valid subsequences. The question definition is very much simple, right? We just have to find the minimum and maximum element from each subsequence, sum these two elements and make sure if it is less than equal to target, then only increment the count of valid subsequence. So the question definition is simple. Now talking about the approach part, see guys, if you try and move to, to with a brute force approach. So if using the brute force approach, what you can do is first of all, you can generate all the uh, subsequence all the non empty subsequences so for a given array of a size n the number of valid subsequences are the number of possible subsequences are 2 to the power n for an array of size n these are the this many number of valid uh, possible subsequences okay from this possible subsequences set we need to choose some valid some valid uh, subsequence whose minimum element plus maximum element is less than equal to target so from the complete set of subsequence we need to choose some of the valid subsequences now to do that we have to traverse all this right so uh, we have to traverse uh, each of a size n right so yeah overall time complexity would be 2 to the power n into n okay this is uh, this many total of subsequence so generating them will take this much time and for each subsequence we have to traverse right so yeah this is the overall time complexity and this is very much high um, in terms of time complexity because our constraints are 10 to the power 5 here uh, the length all the norms are in. so if you go with a brute force approach then it is nowhere that uh, you can optimize this brute force approach uh, to get the solution 
there is no way possible here now just think of sub sequence see as i told you earlier a sub sequence is a sequence that can be derived by removing zero or more elements so we can delete some of the middle elements without changing the order of remaining elements so this is the definition of sub sequence that we can remove zero or few of the elements but we cannot change the order of remaining elements but do you really think that the order of remaining elements the who matter here this is this does matter here does the order matter here see we are only concerned about the minimum and maximum element of a sub sequence the inner order doesn't matter okay so for an example if uh, if you have an array like this 3 uh, 3 2 5 okay so let's take a simple example if you have some array like this 3 comma 2 comma 5 So guys, for given this array, the minimum element is two and the maximum element is five. But if you change the order something like this two, five, three, then also this minimum and maximum element would remain the same. If you change some order to something else, let's say five, two, three, then also the minimum and maximum element won't change. And we are only concerned about the minimum and maximum element. So yeah, the overall order of the array also doesn't matter to us because we are only concerned about the minimum and maximum element. so remove so this sub sequence definition also would fail right we don't have to consider the sub sequence the sequence or you can say we don't have to consider the ordering of the remaining elements right because we only concern the maximum and minimum element so yeah the sequence also doesn't matter got this so how you can take the benefit of this see if you have for some array like this 3 5 6 2 1 and target is 5 then these are the valid sequences right 3 2 3 1 Two comma one, two one, and one two three. Because all here, here is three plus two, that is less than equal to five. Three plus one, less than equal to five. Two plus two, it is less than equal to five. And one plus three, that is also less than equal to five. So all these are valid sub sequences as the minimum element plus maximum element is less than equal to five. Now, if you would have sorted this array one two three five six, then also you would have got the same uh, sub sequences set set of valid sub sequences, right? One two one two one three two three and one two three. as the overall order doesn't matter right so if you take so here if you would have taken 3 2 1 and here you would have taken 1 2 3 as a sub sequence this is valid sub sequence here and this is valid sub sequence here but the order doesn't matter as we are only thinking of min max pair combination of minimum and maximum element so yeah whatever may be the order of the elements our answer won't change as we only concern the minimum element and the maximum element right so yeah clear this point that here we only consider minimum maximum element so the number of valid sub sequences the answer won't change okay now now although we sorted here is this sorting somewhere help see guys uh, if you won't sort the given array then the only approach remain is the brute force approach without sorting you wouldn't be able to uh, get any solution so in such situation where uh, you are given an array you need to find the valid sub sequences And so think of that. Does the sequence matter? So we so we got at a point that a sequence doesn't matter, right? So we sorted, right? We sorted. Now we have to find does this sorting is beneficial? Will it reduce the time complexity? How sort will reduce the time complexity? Now this is the question. Okay, how sorting will be benefited to us? This is now the question. So in a sorting, what we got after sorting, we got an array like this: one, two, three, five, six, and our target is nothing but five. So let's say in a sorting, what you can do is after sorting, we can see that one comma two comma three. If you take a window, this window, one two three with these three elements, then all the sub sequences of this array are valid. See, this is this array is uh, is itself valid. This this is valid sub sequence. This is valid sub sequence. So inner sub sequence or sub sequence of this sub sequence. So let's say sub sequence are like one one two. One, two, three, one, three. So, so the sub sequence of this are also valid. If this is valid sub sequence, then inner sub sequence are also valid. So, can we get benefited if we sort uh, the array? Can we get some benefit like this? Okay. So, from this, we can observe is uh, the index of this element is zero. This is one. This is two. So, if you want to find the count, then that would be nothing but two to the power j minus i. So. So if a if a given sub sequence is a valid, so how many um, sub sequences would be formed? It is nothing but two to the power j minus i. That is two to the power two minus zero. That is two to the power two. That is four. So as you can see, these four are the valid sub sequences. 
so if you want to find the count then it would be nothing but 2 to the power j minus i so guys if you find some range uh, and uh, the complete range is a valid subsequence then how many uh, count would be uh, there of uh, inner subsequence that count of the inner subsequence would be nothing but 2 to the power j minus i got it clear till here so yeah, one, another range here is 2 comma 3 so because you can take 2 here and 2 comma 3 itself this is nothing uh, here the minimum plus maximum element is 2 and 2 so it is 4 here the minimum and maximum element is uh, 2 and 3 so that is sum is 5 that is less than equal to 5 and here if you consider i and j, i is 1 j is 2 so 2 to the power 2 minus 1 is nothing but 2 to the power 1 that is 2 so you can get the count so yeah by sorting what we can do is by sorting the elements we can get the range of elements and the com uh, we can get the complete range of elements that are valid and ins inside this instead of forming the inner subsequence we can directly get the count by using this 2 to the power j minus i the difference of the indexes right correct and yeah guys after sorting this to finding some of the valid subsequence what we can do we can take help of sorting right so we have sorted it and sorted resulted in something like this 1 2 3 5 6 so what we can do is we can keep a pointer one left pointer and one right pointer but left pointer towards the first element and right pointer towards the last element and we, what we can do is we will simply increment the left pointer decrement the right pointer and because see we will try to do uh, try to check the sum that is nums of left pointer plus nums of right pointer if that is greater than uh, uh, not equal to if this is greater than target then we can say we can reduce our right pointer if nums of left plus nums of right if it is less than equal to target then what we can do we can uh, increment our answer or we can what we can do we can calculate we can calculate our answer answer will be calculated by adding this count to our count variable so yeah thus this is how the sorting will help we don't have to look for inner elements this would be the left pointer would point to the minimum element right pointer would point to the maximum element and all the inner elements we don't have to check so yeah guys i hope this is now clear that with the help of sorting we can get the range of valid uh, subsequence and, uh, and from that subsequence uh, we can just simply get a count of how many valid subsequence is possible from the given range of elements right given window or you can say given range of elements so yeah, guys now moving on to the coding part we will do the same thing so uh, initial i have initialized this power of 2 vector where i have stored the power of 2 that is 2 4 8 16 and so on uh, as per the size of the error right starting from 1 because that is if there is only one element uh, then in a given range if there is only one element the number of subsequence is possible from that is also one but before that as you can see the number nums that is already sorted so guys if you have something like this 2 3 3 5 7 9 and let's say target is 7 so guys now let's try to make a dry run so i have initialized the left pointer to 0 and right pointer to nums of 5 that is the last element so yeah here is the left pointer and here is the right pointer i am checking if nums of left plus nums of right is greater than target if 9 plus 2 is greater than target yeah 9 plus 2 is 11 it is greater than target then in that case reduce the i pointer to the towards the left that is make right minus minus and point it towards the left the next left element now again check 7 plus 2 if it is greater than if 7 yeah reduce the rightmost pointer then it's 5 plus 2 7 is less than equal to 7 oh yeah so here from 2 3 3 5 so here what we found this is we found the first valid first valid subsequence and now from here how many different subsequence is possible see let me just give the numbering so here from here 2 to the power 3 minus 0 that is 2 to the power 3 that is nothing but 8 valid subsequence possible from this sequence right so yeah i uh, i calculated the count that is nothing but power of 2 from right minus left and then i do did a mod and then i simply made left plus plus so now the left is pointing to here see i didn't change the right right pointer is still pointing to element 5 i simply updated the left pointer now we again check the loops uh, loop again check whether 5 plus 3 if it is less than equal to 7, no in that case decrement the uh, right pointer so then i right pointer will point here then check 3 plus 3 whether that is less than equal to 7 yeah 
so 3 comma 3 this is the next range okay and here uh, it is nothing but 2 minus 1 so it is 1 so that is 2 also you can see the one value range is 3 and another is 3 comma 3 so these are the two subsequences from this big subsequence this is 1 and this is 2 right now afterwards our right is pointing to here see this is our right this was our left left these are our right pointers now after this what we did i simply increment the left now there is a uh, and see our condition is left less than equal to right so at a time left and right both can point to the same pointer it is also valid so here the left is pointing to 3 and right is pointing to 3 now uh, we check whether nums of left plus nums of right whether the, if it is greater than target 3 plus 3 no it is not greater than target so this sub array of containing only one element 3 this is also valid and this is nothing but of a size 1 so yeah we add 1 to our count because right minus left that is nothing but 0 and we have added 1 to our count so yeah that's why we have added all the different possible subsequences by taking the bigger range and counting how many valid subsequences would be possible so we took this window we took the size of the window and we counted how many valid subsequences are possible and by that way we solve this question so yeah guys i hope uh, this is now clear that what we are trying to do we are trying to find the biggest size subsequences that is valid and from that if that subsequence is valid we can uh, use this formula to find the count of all the valid subsequences from this big subsequence okay so yeah guys that's all for this video and now talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity here is big O of n log n you can clearly see as we are sorting the elements so if the array nums is of size n then that is our time complexity and the space complexity is nothing but big O of n as we are storing the power of 2 in this vector so it is beneficial to store power of 2 in this vector instead of um, uh, calculating uh, the power of 2 using this function inbuilt function or anything else so this will help us to reduce some of the time complexity of calculating the power of 2 as we have pre-computed that and also we have handled the mode because our range is very much high see 10 to the power 5 and to handle that type of situation power of 2 inbuilt function might fail so here what we are simply doing we are sim simply multiplying 2 each time right so yeah that's that's how we calculate the power of 2 uh, so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section also i will uh, paste some of the links of this lead code question which are similar to this question so guys you can try out that so yeah make sure you check the description of this question uh, so yeah that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you